And he gave me just some gold. No, yeah, a bunch of gold. Improved gauntlets of a splitting and decaying armor. Uh, sparkling wings of the mean, you regenerate special move 46%. Yes. It doesn't have three augment slots, it has one, but I think I'm going to keep those finally. Improved gauntlets of the splitting. Regenerate spells. Dual wielding plus two to hit 13 walking speed. They have no augment slots. And I'm abusing my others to absorb health. They're decent. They're higher level than me. By a lot, as a matter of fact. So, that's cool and all, but you're not blowing my skirt up. Because speed 13, I get attack speed 27. You give me two in dual building, but I do get weapon lords. Uh, weapon lore here. And I have two augment slots. So, really? You're not that impressive. The regenerate spells, maybe the dual building, but I can't give up my plus 7%. And special move, 33%. Hmm, not bad, considering, but... This is giving me... Well, technically, it's giving me my regeneration of spell plus 45%, which makes Holy Beam of Light charge a little bit faster. But as far as the defense is concerned, this is just the special move, 33. I would lose a lot, and there's no augment slots. I don't really care so much about the damage that's a hit. The health goes up a little bit, but my resistance is dropped by a bit 200. Hmm. With no augment slots, though, it's a tough sell. But I'm going to go with the special move. I am. And I'm going to miss these three augment slots for this one. But my recharge special move, I think I'm finally going to be smart about. And that's junk. Ruby Slicer of Failure is Sword Lore as well. But it's only 25% dexterity with one augment slot. Not too impressed. Overall, the loot of this dragon wasn't all that great. I feel cheated in a way. I don't think there's a magical hiding spot around here. Doesn't look like it. I don't see one shining. When I was the... When I was using her as bows a long time ago, I would actually stand in the corner and pepper him, and as he comes closer, just run to the other side of the screen, and you just repeat. It's boring. And look, these guys recharge. So... Now my special move recharge is 50% faster, which is cool. Because Demordry's making an army, I suppose, so that's the... I guess the story element of these guys all coming back was, well... You know, th there's more. There's like the, the there's a, a shift, a second shift coming in. So it's okay. There's more than one shift. I wish the dragon had better loot though. Yeah, wasn't all that impressed by it. Considering I gave up four uh, three three four augment slots in my armor for the special move regen. Yeah. Although visibly, I can see the difference. Which is impressing me. Sparkling Amulet of Domination, which is nice. Because the special move, again, as we know, does about 116% of my base damage, and it attacks faster. So, And the hit goes up, too. Attack improves with it by what? I can't remember. I could look it up, but don't really care. Well, that is definitely awesome. Ha 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 Corroding Belt, BFG. I get better loot from these guys than I did the dragon. The only thing the dragon gave me was 80 grand, 80 grand experience because of the Ventor Potion. That's it. That's what he gave me. And some gold that's pretty much irrelevant in this game. After a certain amount of time, yeah, it's irrelevant. There you go. There's the optional area in the game. This region well, is at peace. There's one optional area in the game. There's quite a few more. But... You're thinking, Demordry, what are you doing? Torture chamber upstairs so you can fap to? Army of wep weapons and barracks down there? A dragon on your side? What the fuck, man? Well, also you have corrupt taxpayers. You're hanging people. There's a bunch of paperwork to do. Good thing you're keeping records. <coughs> Better to incriminate you with, my dear. <laughs> no Alright, let's go to this you. shop here. I'd go to the blacksmith, but he's... I need to go to the blacksmith. At least get something augmented with the, the shitty-ass wings. Because I'm giving up a lot of augment slots for the one ability that I want. 
and it's going to get me in defense. But what are you going to do about it? Not much. Nothing but cry. I'm going to cry. I'm going to lose all that. I don't care about the amulet so much. I can get another amulet. In fact, I have another amulet right there. Those just give you poison resist. Don't say just. A lot of undead poison you, and you're going to wish for it. The Shadow Guards of the Eagle, though, aren't even for me. I'm going to miss you guys. I'm really going to miss you. Uh, my belt. Uh, strength, 6. Physical regeneration for health goes up. Two augment slots, one augment slot. You suck. And flaming gauntlets. Look at all this stuff. Great armor, great wings. Sorry, I have a theme going on. Mental regeneration. I like how selling your skills doesn't get you anything. You have an augment slot I need to fill. You have no augment slots. I guess if there's an armor piece that is much better, I'll, I'll change it out like I did before. I lost 40% regen for that 4 slot armor last time. Last time. Is it how many hours ago is that now? Hours of gameplay? Why didn't I open this chest up? I don't know. But we're gonna do it now. And why haven't I opened up this door and gone inside? Why haven't I gone upstairs and just totally ransacked this guy's jar? Ah, Saint's Ashes. Nice. Okay. Those don't respawn. Breaking jars, breaking barrels. So you'll know if you've actually broken one or not. Just extra stuff for you to explore and grab in the game. And hello. Gotcha. These guys all just generate again. The, the poor area of town is... Okay, there's the blacksmith. Let me just get the augment slot filled with something. I think I'll put that amulet in them. Give me a little bit more defense. Oh shit. Guys. Could you give me a break? Could you could you go away? Are you gonna bunch up around the blacksmith? You assholes. Look, they're actually attacking the blacksmith. It's gonna... Yeah, like because I'm in front of him and the bitches who are throwing the arrows are shooting me through him, so he's actually taking damage. And yes, NPCs, static NPCs like that can be killed. They slowly recharge like you do. Well, not like you do, but much slower than you. Cheap Greaves of the Eagle. Yep, yeah, they are cheap. Alright. Let's put you back in and I guess I'm gonna put this amulet back in with attack speed plus eight. Not too horrible, but there are better things out there. There's a rune master around here too in the poor area. Yeah, let's go to him. Oh, I can't go that way. Shit. Don't you guys ever get tired of spawning? Look, see, there's more enemies around here. Go, Wilbur, go. Kick her ass. Is that diamond? No, damaged. God damn it. I was thinking I'd have a diamond dagger of the chieftain. It might be cool. Nylon dagger of the menial, not so much. Oh, I see you. I see you. I see you, you little bastard. Every time I'm trying to engage in something, the problem is it's always real time, so... Exchange! Well, I'm not going to use a dwarf ability. I'm not going to use a demon ability. I'm not going to use a dwarf ability. And I'm not going to use you. So, let's throw Holy Pillar of Light back on there. There we go. Celestial Light. Aww. And I still have this one. And I have damaged bracers of oblivion. Which doesn't really do me any good. We can sell it. Did I open this door and go in? It's closed. Well, sometimes the NPCs do close doors. Other times, they just leave them open forever. Like that. So you'll know that you've been in there. I think it was designed to be left open so you'd know. But sometimes the game does do its thing. And they close their doors. <clears throat> Two shops in town, they both suck. Sell you, sell you, sell you. Let's just see what he has for sale. Jade shoulder guards, not really that impressed by them. Special move 10% for these greaves, but I don't want to give up. Because these are... These are the greaves I have now. And the speed, the weapon lore, it's going to be hard to top that. 
special move, 10%. You're tempting me, game. But again, I'll lose a lot of damage. Yeah, see, I lose 30 to 40 damage based on that. If that had two augment slots for 10%, I would accept it. But just 10% is not enough for me to lose all that damage. Because I, I do want to throw out damage. That's my thing. I sold you that dagger, and it looks like, hmm, interesting mace. And interesting axe with three augment slots. I don't need to buy any potions. As a matter of fact, I need to get rid of a few. Looks like I will be able to visit the middle of town. And the chest is around here. Ah, fuck the chest. Just go. I don't give a shit. I want to get out of this town. The town's at peace anyway. I have nothing else to do here. Except grind and loot. Which is what you do in these games. Don't get me wrong. May blessings be upon you. I'm a seraphim. I'm, I bless. You don't bless me. Alright. There we go. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna just attack this bear for no reason. Because you know you don't have the strength to actually kill him. Thus it will be your downfall. And now you will meet your d d doom. Yes. I like how the legs I already said that with the silver ones, but damn, it's like you just squish himself right on the ground. I think we could make the next area. I don't want to talk to you guys. You're not going to give me anything special anyway. What was a small chance you will? Hi, crows. See, look, these guys aren't moving. They're not by and large. A couple of them are, but that's about it. I can run faster than the wolves. Well, sort of. 702 experience. Wilbur killed before he got killed. Nice. Alright, fine. You really want to die? There. Damn, leave me alone. Go away. We don't like you. And someone commented on episode one. Sorry, I'm just getting to it now. That, yeah, there's no real replay value with the other characters because the story is the same, and it is. And you are correct. The only difference with characters are their skill sets, what they start with, how they progress, and if you want to try something different. That's why I recommend the Seraphim, because she can go many different ways. Eh, that's what she said. No, really. She doesn't have as high of a strength as others, but she can throw her skills into just about anything and kind of excel at them. Although some characters do fight faster with certain weapons, so, so that's always something to consider. I can't go in this door at all. See, the game was never fully finished, so there are some areas in the game that you can't click on to get into. That happens. Sometimes there's even a couple of cave entrances in the game that you absolutely can't find. You can't find an entrance to get in. Your, your little cursor won't turn into a hand to go inside. Because they just never actually put the interior of those caves. And that would make sense that there'd be a few like that, but I really wish that they had... There There was there were a patch or two. There, there were a couple patches for the game official, but nothing to address all the problems. It's different than the vampire one in, in, the, in the dead forest, isn't it? Same same um, sprite art for the castle. Even the same roof. You'd think they would have gotten a little bit more creative with that. But no graveyard. There's an escort mission coming up right around here. I always hated it. But you want to do it. Yeah, see. Okay. Let's explore! Actually, you can skip that mansion altogether because this is the path that leads around the mansion, which I'm going to un not unlock so much as just uncover. This game is really good if you have OCD because you'd want to unlock all of the map. Yeah. I think it's only taking about five seconds for my shit to recharge, which is fantastic. I think considering it was a 13 I second before. I would like to make it more damaging, but at the same time, this is one of those skills that just takes longer to recharge, the stronger it gets. Most skills are like that in this game. The stronger they get, the slower the recharge time, but 
A dwarf's greed is reverse of that. You take less of a penalty, and it, and it has a higher duration, and it has a higher plus. I think it's up to almost 300 points in rare item get. And at the same time, uh, I have only... Remember last time I talked about it? I said the dwarf gets about a negative 50% in defense for the plus whatever it was in item get. Well, now it's down to 16% defense lost, and I get plus 280, which is unbelievable. I think I will do a small video on the dwarf just to show you how awesome his item get ratio is. There's a graveyard over here, which is part of a quest, I think. I think. Let's just throw out some holy pillars while we're at it. Because at least one guy will run into it. These guys don't like to be toe to toe with you. So. But wait, first I want to open up these because they always have something in them. And this flag just gets me a okay, grave. I'm not going to open up graves. Very few of them have anything special in them. A lot of them are just puns. He was a he was a great man, now he fits in a tiny can, you know, shit like that. Like, okay, great. And they repeat, so this is the escort mission. Or I th Your job is think just what I wanted. Okay, he's over there. Okay, maybe that wasn't the escort mission, but that's fine, there is one around here, I think. Is there a magical hiding spot there? Yes. I was gonna pass that by. Inaccurate Bracers of Oblivion. Sword of Oblivion. Thematically, I just want to match everything on me, but you can never find a, a good matching set. They don't. And I don't. And I don't mean that in a literal sense. It's not a set. They don't give a set bonus or anything. City people. I wonder. It's hard to find where to go in this one because there's actually that's an, that's that's a version of the opposite end of the spectrum of not being finished. In this particular cave, hovering the mouse over that mouth, you won't find. The location in which it turns into a hand, but you can walk down. So you just have to keep walking. And they made the the hitboxes on on these mouth openings really small in some cases. They didn't polish it up enough at all. But for the time this game came out, if you wanted a Diablo clone, it really was a good alternative. Considering Diablo took place just in one town. Although there were shortcuts, after you went, if you went down so deep, there was one of them was that you know, catacomb entrance. One of them was the crack in the ground to hell. I think that's the deepest one you could unlock, and you had to walk down five or six levels. And, and monsters didn't regenerate in this game. Oh my God, they're everywhere. they keep coming back. They don't come back right away. You can clear a path. I think I already mentioned that you swallow the path through a, a field and fewer respawns will occur in that field for a given length of time as long as you don't stray too far from it so and monsters from outside the path that you were walking can meander into it so obviously 